Hi everyone, Siavash here and in this quick video I'm going to show you how you can uh, build a quiz uh, within the GHL platform. Uh, I've seen it in a couple of uh, places, people have asked questions, is it possible to uh, build a quiz within the GHL, how to do it and those kind of things. Quick answer, yes, it is possible, but there's a, quite a little bit of work that you need to do. So I've, I've built up a very uh, simple, basically two question uh, type of quiz. And I'm gonna go through the steps on how you can actually do that, how to uh, calculate the results and those kind of things. So first of all, let me just uh, show you how it's gonna look like. So it's a simple survey. So we go ahead and let's type in, uh, type in a name, type in an email address, and hit on continue. So question number one, question number two, you just put a number, so that was 10, that was three. And what it does basically, uh, it's going to calculate the results based on those numbers. So if I go to the contacts and just check that uh, recent one, so as you can see, this is the one that we just uh, did, if I click on it, and if you go through this, you see that the quiz section, it has quiz question number one, the answer 10, question number two, the answer three, and the quiz result is basically 10 plus three, 13. So something very, very simple, but you can build upon this to make it like a complex type of quiz or anything. Now, let's go ahead and look at how I actually build this thing. So the first thing that I uh, did was I went to settings and we need to add basically a couple of custom fields. So the custom fields are going to be your, let's say multiple choice questions for your quiz. So what I did uh, to make it nice and clean, I went to folders, I add a new folder, named that folder quiz, and added two questions. So these questions are radio select for multiple choices. And the quiz result is going to be another one, which is a numerical uh, type. So that's your questionnaires. And then on top of that, uh, once we have this, the next thing that I did was I built a survey. So I went to survey builder, uh, built a simple quiz survey, very, very simple. So we asked their uh, full name and email address. Uh, you don't need to have the quiz result in here. So you can just delete this guy. Once I submit, then I have the question number one that they can choose either of these and then question number two. That's it. As you can see, you can build upon this with more questions and those kind of things. Let's go ahead and basically now have a look at how we can calculate the results. So the magic happened inside the automation. So if I go inside the automation and have a look at the workflow that I've built. So basically the uh, trigger for the workflow is going to be survey submitted. So once they submit the survey and the survey simple quiz, then we're going to start our calculation. So the first one is we're going to do it on question one. So if they answer 10, it's going to be the answer 10 branch. If they answer 20, it's going to be the answer 20 branch. And obviously the other branch would be the last one, which is 30. So we don't need to add a branch for that because that's gonna land on the la in the last uh, branch, which is none. So for each one of these, what I'm doing, I'm updating the uh, quiz results. So the math operation, very simple. So I, for the quiz result, if they answer 10, I just add it by 10. If they answer uh, 20, uh, I just add 20. And the last one is if they answer uh, 30, I just add it by 30. And now this is the question one. Now we're gonna go and do the question two. So it doesn't matter where you put it cause at the bottom of any of these, it would be able to go to question two. So basically for the question two, if I click on this, if they answer one, if they answer three, and the last answer would be five. And we're doing the same uh, kind of like math operation. So the math operation is going to be, if it's one, we add one. If it's three, we add three. And if it's five, we add five. And then 
The next thing that I've done was basically no matter where they're coming from, whether they answer the question 1, 20, 10 or 50, we want them to go and calculate the question 2. And once we are finished, what we do, we basically update the... Actually, no, this is, this, this is not necessary. This was just something that, I'm, that I was playing with. Uh, this is for basically to let you know what I was trying, what I was doing there was basically uh, setting up a specific trigger link to uh, get updated with the result and send that result as an email inside an email to them. So uh, that's probably would be another tutorial, but if you're interested, let me know and I can basically expand, as, expand on this and do it in another video. But as you can see, it's pretty, pretty simple. Uh, we go ahead and hit save. And the last part was basically wherever you would like to host the quiz. So for the tutorial, what I did was I simply created a quiz funnel and I just dropped the survey inside that. So let's try that again. So if you come in here, this is gonna come up and let's try and put like two, two at gmail.com let's go ahead and this time let's do like okay we're gonna give this 20 and then 5 so it's going to be 25 so simple thank you for completing the survey so let's go back let's go to contacts and let's have a look at this last one as you can see 25 and the quiz result is 25 that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. As usual, please do make sure that you like, share, subscribe. And also, if you would like to learn more or uh, about like how the CRM works, or if you need any help with GHL, setting up GHL using our resources to do that for you, and you don't like the tech stuff, that's our thing. Uh, make sure that you check the link uh, down in the description, the first link in the description, and just click on that. And based on uh, if you're agency owner, online coach, small business owner, or just an entrepreneur need help with uh, CRM and getting you up and running, just make sure to hit, hit, hit that up and we'll be more than happy to help you out. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.